Head to the gold saucer. You will not be able to return to North Corel for some time. Yes. This is it. This will take us all the way to the saucer. Hey, you can't let those assholes talk to you like that. We should go back and beat him up or something. Practically, the whole damn town came out to crap on him. Someone tell me why I'm the only one who's pissed here. I told you, I can take it. Think you could at least tell us what it was all about? They were talking like you sold them out for money, but... I know that isn't true. That's not you. So how'd they get it so wrong? Where the hell is it? This about her? About Marlene? <sighs> Share with the class, Barrett. Corel wasn't much. Decent place with decent coal. Decent folks, too. Rough around the edges, but big hearts. Salt to the earth. And I sold them all down the river. Took away their future and their hope. Six years we earlier. Happy. Covered in soot and porous dirt. But none of that mattered. We had friends and family, and that was enough. Till we learned about the miracle of Mako and all we'd been missing out on. And then we just had to have a taste. <laughs> There's Dine. So now only Dine is opposed. Damn right I am. We can't just abandon the mines. Not after our fathers and grandfathers risked their lives to maintain them. I hear you, Don. I do. But nobody sees any future in coal. So I ask you, why break our backs working harder and harder when we're taking home less year after year? <sighs> if I may, sir. Once the reactor is complete, a portion of the revenue will go to the town. Your community will be preserved or enriched. Yeah, I surely say. she's not lying. You should definitely listen to fucking Count Jugular over here. Listen, man. This is your chance to give your daughter a better life than what we had. You think I haven't thought about that? Come on. Are we gonna let some city slickers tell us our coal is worthless? We gonna let them tell us we're worthless? It would seem we've reached an impasse. In which case, any further discussion would be a waste of breath. So, Mr. Mayor, shall we put it to a vote? Static. Convinced it was the dawn of a new era. Then one day. <clears throat> the reactor exploded. Y'all saw the aftermath. Yeah. That was not great. And then. Shinra came rolling into town. Burned everything. Innocent people in their homes. Was that Scarlet? It was. 
Rose, wasn't it? Yeah. That bitch. I don't get it. Why burn the whole town? To craft a story that it was all the work of a local insurgent group. But ain't no villager ever gone near the reactor. They lie right through their teeth. Murderers. Hmm. That they are. Still, there's a whole lot of blood on my hands, too. I push for the reactor. I put us on the path that brought us here. Barrett. The saucer's waiting. God, it's all such good voice acting, man. They absolutely fucking kill it with the voice acting. Every single one of the main cast is just perfect in their role. Really feel Barrett's fucking pain there with that voice acting. Is this really how it's gonna be? Listen, I don't want your sympathy or your pity. You can keep all of that nonsense. I did what I did, and I can live with it. Right, we gotta shake this off. We're about shake to it off. To the Let's shake it ever. off. The gold saucer. Oh, yeah. So turn those rounds upside down. <laughs> what in the hell? Ain't no one but you thinking about how much fun we're gonna have. Nah, I'm thinking about it too, man. I'm so hey. ready. Wanna have a look? It's coming up over there. <sighs> oh my god, here we are! <laughs> Now, of course, for every, anyone wondering about the date, Glad please remember the that they, that's not this visit. <laughs> the The date scene does not happen until our later visit to the Gold Saucer, right before Temple of the Ancients. So, that is not something that will be happening yet. I am very much looking forward to that as well. I'm very curious who we'll get, because uh, we, we've got ooh, Chapter 8, all the glitters. We've got uh, Tifa and Aerith, both to four pips. Oh my god. That's so fucking cool. What? So by the time we get to the end, they'll both be at five, and then I don't know how it's going to pick who we get. Oh my goodness, that is sick. They have fucking holograms. Oh my god, that is so cool. This is incredible. Oh my goodness, this is amazing. Wow. Wow. Oh, man. That was gorgeous. What an entrance. Come on, come on. Shall we? Let's. Fucking let's. Oh, my God. Fast travel unavailable. Yeah, no shit. <laughs> Motherfucker, how did you get here? The fucking cable cars weren't running until we turned it on. Anything we can interact with? Is this like a back entrance or something? Since when was there a staff room and stuff that's just openly available and... It was, it was straight out of the cable car and into fucking magic, gaudy, like... <laughs> gold everywhere fun place. It wasn't off the cable car into a fucking couple of back rooms and shit. I wonder why they changed that. That's weird. I feel like that's not a change for the better. Gold Saucer, it should be assaulting your senses with fucking everything the moment you arrive. Oh. Hello. <laughs> Armor's here. Barrett Wallace. Tifa Lockhart. A 
and cloud strife. Look at them. Look! Waltzing around with the flower seller and Hojo's lab rat. Who are these people? At least well, you'll find out when you try and fight us, and then you get hit by a fucking fan. That's all well and good. But why am I in charge of handing out the posters? Don't they know I have a division to run? I think you're where the president wants you. What an important scene. I mean, <laughs> why, did, why did that put- why did they put that there? The others are waiting. Alrighty, welcome area. See this, I feel like this is where we should have arrived. Like this is incredible, this is exactly where the gold saucer is. I feel like the cable car should have dropped, dropped us off where the helicopters are coming in. And that'd be perfect, right? I don't know why they sent us through some random like staff rooms first. Strange. Anything to see around here? Let's hijack a helicopter. Oh, we can't even go up the stairs. Well, this is where the next mini parts will be, I'm sure. Hello. We hope our main entrance just up ahead. We hope you enjoy your stay with us. I'm sure I will. Until we get thrown down into prison. How quickly does that happen on our first our first arrival? I actually forget. Just gonna sneak by you there. Excuse us. Coming through. <laughs> There's Kate Sith! Oh shit, hello! Hey everyone, let's get this party started! Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Why does you forget all the magical girl transformation sequences? <laughs> oh, maybe they'll get one too. <laughs> Andrea! <laughs> oh my god, this is wonderful. Oh shit. Oh shit. <laughs> this is the best fucking scene in the game, dude. What the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Oh my god, she passed out. That was the most incredible Cloud. scene I have ever seen in my life. Well, Cloud, shall we do? Let's go. Now, now, when fate sets us a challenge, we must rise to meet it. Are you ready to rumble? Oh, what is this? Yeah. 
What is this? <laughs> what? What is happening? This is amazing. <laughs> I can't even deal with this. Second and <laughs> what the fuck, I'll man? <laughs> Give him a right hook with R2. Okay. Strike while the enemy guard is down. Oh, okay. I see. How is this missing? I don't understand. Oh, I see. Okay. Oh, she's oh, that was the right stick. Oh, right. Oh my god, this is so hard. There we go. Fuck me. Let's see if you have Oh boy, now for reals. Okay. Nice. All right. Nice. Charging up our limit. We've got our limit. Almost. One more hit and we'll have our limit. Well. Limit break. Nothing personal. Nice. Done. Your relationship with Red has changed over that? Why? Well fought, young man. <laughs> the amount of muscles is unreal. Let's give our worthy contender another thunderous round of applause. Incredible. Well, thanks. <laughs> nice punching up there, Cloud. <clears throat> A small token of my thanks. <sighs> One golden ticket. Your ticket to paradise. <laughs> cool. Yuffie's Wu Tai pop star outfit has been added to the changing booth. Oh boy. <laughs> That's what that was? A Wu Tai pop star outfit? Okay. <laughs> 
Oh my god, we're here! Nicely done. Since you were pretty nervous. Glad you still in front of crowds. You should have seen him at the Honeybee Inn. <laughs> yeah, you should. You've got to tell me that one later. So, now Let's have some fun. Yes! Sure. Sounds like a plan to me. I had my Philip Fun in Costa del Sol. Let's put it to a vote then. Teensy little break. All those in favor. <laughs> yes, Red. I, uh... Yay, obviously. Have your fun. While you still have time. Hey. Maybe you should lie down for a bit. No. I'm all right. Come on, man. I know this ain't to see. Why don't you and me go book us some rooms? This is so my scene, in fact. Fine. <laughs> well, the four of us are off. Are you joking me? Am I missing out on fucking incredible times with the crew? To go and book some rooms? Bruh. Get some sleep, okay? Bruh, I'm feeling Hotel's jealous. Be, uh, I'm jealous that they're off to have fun and I'm not. Damn, am I really not allowed to go and do whatever? Motherfucker. Motherfucker. These bastards! What the hell is wrong with those guys? The war rats. What? Maka, when it's gone, so is this. Where did that come from? Paraphrasing you. Whoa! But I get your point. Oh my Live god, that's so you. cool. You just not promised to no one. That is so cool. I wondered how they do the fucking tubes. I wondered how they do the tubes. Oh my goodness. Wow, here it is. Oh my god. Oh man. To clear those somber skies. Whether it be dark or bright, I'll read your future right. Just let me go shoot in the messenger. Eh? This is some kind of toy. You do, lads. Eyes up here. Hello. Look, Kate Seth, fortune teller extraordinaire. Put it there. <laughs> it's a toy, all right. Pretty life like this. Oh, give us a smile. <laughs> the gold saucer's meant to be a happy place filled with happy people, don't you know? So show us those pearly whites. Back off. You coming? 
Alright, first proper Kate Sith meeting. Obviously, we saw him outside, but... Uh, just, not outside, you know, just before we came in, but... That do be the first, like, proper, proper meeting. Anything hidden around here? Someone's got a bee in their bonnet. <laughs> Strange. Most folks like me. Do they? I mean, I really didn't like Kate Sith in the original, but I'm open to changing my mind here because that was the same thing with Yuffie. I really didn't like Yuffie in the original, and I absolutely love her here, so... You know, they could make Kate Sith good. However, given the fact that Kate Sith is a fucking... You know, he's gonna betray us and shit. It's gonna be a lot harder for me to come around on Kate Sith. Whereas Yuffie was just annoying, you know? She wasn't evil. I mean, Kate is not evil either, but, you know. I definitely... Reeve is, Reeve is trying to do good in many ways, but he, he does fuck us over quite hard to begin with. Was that a fucking Queen's Blood table there? That is some good banter. The room service here is next level. A Tonberry robot delivers your food right to your doorstep. Great. The clock appears to be absent. So I'm totally Amazing. Oh, they have so perfectly nailed this man. Is it going to let us check anything out upstairs before we go to the desk? Out of curiosity. You fucking weirdos, man. <laughs> you absolute weirdos. Something tells me I'm going to have the worst nightmares when I go to bed. Gee, I wonder what. Alright, let's go ahead. Man, it's just, it's so well done. The fucking hand coming under the staircase and shit. Oh, man. This is just great. Tacky and understaffed. Great. 
Gentle sirs. What in the hell was that? <laughs> My most sincere apologies. So sincere. <sighs> Got any rooms? There's six of us all told. Well, five and one pet. Hmm. Might I inquire as to what kind of pet? Uh, he was joking. Make it six. Very well. Now then. Hmm. Oh, I'm terribly sorry, gentlemen, but it appears we're all booked up for the night. For crying out loud. What about the other hotels? Forgive me, sir. But according to my records, all of our hotels are sadly fully booked. What? Fucking Costa del Sol flashback? Hello again. Nowhere to stay? And what's it to you? Now then, did you want one sweet or two? Ah, you trying to scam us? I wouldn't need dream of such a thing. And to prove it, I'll put the entire bill myself. Sure you will. Well, aren't we a prickly bunch? You there, dangly man. Would you mind checking one more time? Hmm? Hmm. Oh, a timely cancellation! <laughs> the Tonberry and Elagor suites have just become available. Shall I book them? So, did you just kick people out of their rooms for that? <laughs> it feels so good Are the people that actually booked those gonna turn up and well, now they won't have a room? Because <laughs> he fucking Toodaloo. changed the system? Your suites are on the fourth floor. Please proceed to the elevator at the top of the stairs. <laughs> Man, Kate Sith looks so strange at his toy. It's very weird to be seeing them done in live action. <laughs> not live action. What the fuck am I saying? You know what I mean. Not, not in fucking ancient, uh, ancient tech from 20 years ago. Seeing them be fully rendered out in modern day tech, that's what I mean. There you are. The offer still stands. A fortune or two to steer you true. You can answer any question? But of course. Be it this, be it that, go on and ask the cat. Okay, we're looking for Sephiroth. Think you can find him? Oh, Sephiroth, you see. All right, hold on to your underpants. Meow, 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 meow. <laughs> Things are looking up, so throw caution to the wind. Put your trust in others, and the last minute twist may pleasantly surprise you. You fuckers. What's you writer fuckers. What a last minute you? twist may pleasantly surprise you. Are they trying to make you have hope that Eris gonna live? Are they trying to make you have hope that Eris gonna live? I don't have hope that Eris gonna live. I think Eris gonna die. Watch your belongings. Lucky color. Black? We're done. Wait, don't go! Third time's a charm. Come on, you stupid thing. Anything the matter? <laughs> Seek and you are sure to find. But alas, you shall forever lose what you cherish most. <laughs> the stars work in mysterious ways. <laughs> you good? Yeah, it's just what I cherish most. See what this crap does. My apologies, sir. Hmm. Hmm. I think Eris is still gonna die. 
See, the thing is, I know a lot of people have been speculating, I can't remember if I've said, I might have said this before in the series, but a lot of people have been speculating that someone else will die, that will be the twist, is that Aerith lives but someone else dies in her place or something, and it's like, it just doesn't make sense for that to happen because story-wise, Aerith is the only one that can cast Holy in the live stream and shit, right? Like, if Tifa died, or if Barrett died, or if Red died, whatever, it wouldn't have the same impact on the story that Aerith dying would, because she, from the live stream, is able to still save the day. But no one else can do that. So if anyone else dies in her place, everything's fucked. So, I don't think they would change her dying, even though it would be fun. I think, I think the fun is more that there's the chance that she might live now, but I think they'll still kill her. Because she needs to be dead for for her to be able to save the day at the end of the game. Although, of course, that implies that the end of the game is going to be the same, which it might not be. The end of, you know, not this game. The end of the final game, when Meteor is coming down and the live stream and everything comes together to save everything. With Aerith's uh, holy material and all that. But, you know, it could go completely different ways. Who knows? Odd. My readings are normally bang on. Stars mustn't be smiling on me. Odd. My readings are normally bang on. Alright, let's go to our room. You wish to go down, I presume? Fourth floor. Oh, uh, of course. Very well. Fourth floor it is. Is he the is he the concierge? Goodness me! Oh, hello, Barma's here as well. Okay. I can't wait to see a fucking van hit him in in these graphics. It's gonna be the funniest shit ever. Are they gonna tell Shinra that they're fully booked? <laughs> <laughs> Reservation under the name. Oh, never mind. They did book Director ahead. Okay. Director of Space and Aeronautics. <laughs> yes, of course. Oh, one moment, please. <laughs> it says here you cancel those rooms. What? No, oh my didn't. God! It's their rooms that we fucking got. While we did have you booked for the top. Oh, that's hilarious. Four suites. Mr. Palmer sent word that they were no longer required. That's impossible. Uh, is something wrong? We lost the rooms. What? Tell him who I am. I did. Oh. Well, no point dwelling on it. Now, where can a man get a drink around here? <laughs> Yahoo, waitress. <sighs> Palmer's so weird. <laughs> Palmer is definitely the strangest of the Shinra bad guys. We've arrived. Farewell. We hope you have yourselves a ghoulish and morbid evening. Appreciate it. Anything down here? Nah. We hope you have yourselves a ghoulish and morbid evening. <laughs> More toys. Oh my god. Dude, this game is amazing. I cannot tell you how fucking glad I am I played the original. I am so, 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 so glad I played the original before playing Rebirth. It would be better to play it before Remake, but it is it feels fucking essential to play before Rebirth. Not for fun, just to take a walk. Hey, you've been acting pretty weird lately, Cloud. Rest up and shake it off, you hear me? Yeah. I hear you. Purifying air with prejudice. <laughs> Whoa, that freaked me out. <laughs> That's such a good bit. 
That's such a good bit. Oh my god. That is hilarious. I can't, I can't attack. I was wondering if I'd be able to attack. Dude, this is, this is just fantastic. Does it change? If you open it again, does it change what's behind it? No, I wondered if it would do that. Is he following me around to stab me? Is that what's going on? <laughs> he does. He tracks you around the room to stab you. <laughs> Oh no. Oh no. Sure. Can you imagine sleeping here? I would never sleep here in a million years. Even though it's all fake, it would just be like everything is designed to fuck you up. Like and make you scared, even if it's all fake. It's like, something would fucking scare the shit out of you, even though you know it's fake, you know? Sorry, what did we just put that in? What did we just put our sword in? Did we have a sword holder next More to the bed? Or? Than I thought. Not gonna fucking go under the covers, mate. We going Sorry, coverless. Man. Feel like I failed you. Zack. Sorry, man. Feel like I failed you. Are the realities bleeding together? Cause like Cloud just heard that in bed, right? I know I'm supposed to be. Cloud just heard that in bed, right? Because it said the line twice. It wasn't just a cut to black and then we moved to Zack's timeline and then he says the line. It was that he said the line and Cloud heard it in his own timeline and then we went to this one and he said it again. I don't know. Is that what that was supposed to imply or not? Oh, I see. Huh. Never seen material like this before. Something about the color. Yeah, pretty pretty weird color, huh? Didn't peg you as a bookworm. No, she pegged you instead. I mean, what? Imagine not having a duvet that goes over our fucking feet. Imagine having a duvet that only goes, like, halfway down your legs. Fuck that shit. Hmm. Cloud in the wheelchair like that. That's how Cloud looks in the third part of uh, the game when he it's it's post um, post World War Maze right when he gets completely fucked up and he loses his mind and he's not in the party for a while because he's in a wheelchair with a white cloth over him like that right interesting interesting Someone mentioned the other day, I can't remember who, but someone mentioned, like, this is Cloud's original soldier uniform, right? And it's very similar to his current soldier uniform, but he has two fucking, like, massive bolts drilled through the shoulder pad. And someone was like, why the fuck did he drill two massive bolts through the shoulder pad? And I have no idea what the answer to that is. Why, why in present day has he done that? Anything to find? What's that sewing machine? Let's go up before we go down. We must have more combat with Zack at some point, right? Because he had a whole unique mechanic. 
We had about five seconds of combat with him at the start of the game, and he did have a unique mechanic. But we didn't get to do anything with it, because it was just, like, the very first fight of the game, and it was against nothing-y enemies, and then, and then it's no, been no combat since. Would you care to join us? Definitely. I'm starved. <laughs> you're supposed to say thank you. <laughs> yes, ma'am. No, you're supposed to say it now. Thank you. Hey, did someone come by the house last night? Oh, you must mean Bix. He was just dropping off some food. Then what's with the sneaking around? You've seen those wanted posters all over town? Well, his face is on them. Good old Biggs. <laughs> he moved, he moved the... The red, uh, the red thing from his hair down to his mouth. I'd rather let him explain. So long as Marlene's here, he'll come around again. He won't. Biggs isn't coming back. Tifa isn't coming back. Daddy isn't coming back. Nobody's coming back ever again. <laughs> <sighs> Sure they will. And I know just how to prove it to you. I'll go and get Bix. Right now. Huh? Mean it? Always do. Honest and true. But... <laughs> Let me guess. You don't like dumb rhymes. <laughs> no, I like rhymes. Sometimes. <laughs> Not bad, kid. Hmm. Not bad, kid. Oh, yeah, he totally heard. Two hours later. Hmm. What does it mean? What's going on? What's going on? On, on. I don't know if it's more scary that the Tombri is now sat in the corner. Is it on a charging pad? It's on its fucking charging pad. Amazing. No, but really though, where did Cloud put his fucking sword? There is nothing here that it was propped up against. If it was like sideways against the bed, then that would be understandable. But it wasn't. It was like at an angle. Like this. And there's nothing here that he could have put it in. <laughs> That's really strange. Considering they've gone out of their way in the past to put sword holders in places. I'm surprised they didn't do that this time. Just wondered if that would change. Oh, that's not the fucking exit to the room. This is the exit to the room. Hey! Hey, how are you feeling? Do you need anything? Some food? Water? I'm fine. You were right. Just needed some sleep. <sighs> you alone? Yeah. Red's off doing his own thing, and Aerith and Yuffie are taking a spin on the Skywheel. They're only letting couples on tonight. So here I am. The odd woman out. They hit it off quick, huh? Must be nice to make friends that easily. What? Like, you can't? I don't know. I act like I can. Think I always have. Ever since I was a kid. Anyway, you up for a little exploring? With me. I mean, Hell yeah! No pressure. Of course I'm up for it. Gold saucer points. Participate in the park's attractions to earn gold saucer points. Then exchange your GP for illustrious collector's items, as well as other useful trinkets at kiosks located around the park. Alright. Paint the town red. I'm not sure I like the name of that main quest. 
Why are we painting the town red? What do you mean? Hmm. Wait, main scenario updating for every square? Oh my god, are we go we're going to be checking out the entire thing. This is it. This is it. We're finally getting to check out the entire gold saucer. And we're going with Tifa, no less. Oh, brilliant. Brilliant. I can't actually remember. I remember the first time we arrived. We did get to explore it, but I can't remember if it was with Tifa. If, if that's the same as in this game. Or whether this is a new thing. Or whether everyone was with us originally, or what. I can't actually remember how it went specifically. But, uh... Yeah, I'm very ready. I'm very ready to finally get a full exploration of the Gold Saucer under my belt. And that'll have to be in the next part, because that is all we have time for today. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, if you could leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. Share the videos around, share the playlist around if you can. I would really appreciate that. And I will see you next time for more Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. Thanks for watching. See you then.